Thank you, Senator Murray. My name is Jason Hensman. I'm an Iraq War vet from Seattle, a University of Washington alumni. I'm currently living in Brooklyn, New York, and working for Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. From September 2004 to June of 2005, I was deployed to Mosul, Iraq, with the United States Army Reserves. While deployed, I was responsible for reconstruction projects as a civil affairs specialist and working with local leaders to rebuild towns and other infrastructure projects. With my years of specialized training and a bachelor's degree, I thought it would be easy to come back and find a job. But after completing my degree, I was stop lost and told that I would go back to Iraq in the summer of 2008. At that point, I put my career plans on hold, married my then fiance, and mobilized to Fort Dix. Ultimately, I found that I would not be deploying back to Iraq. So even then, even before I got back, I began applying for jobs. Yet I found nothing. Three weeks later, I returned to Seattle from Fort Dix. But as a newlywed, I found it emotionally challenging and incredibly frustrating to have no income to provide for myself and my wife. I continued to spend day in and day out applying for any and every job I could find, putting out hundreds of resumes not only on the West Coast, but on the East Coast. Literally hundreds, from different opportunities in multiple spec sectors, from government to security to the service industry, really anything I could find. But I couldn't even get an interview. It seemed like no one saw my background in military training fitting for the jobs that they were offering. Eventually, after looking close to five months, the first interview I got was as a night shift, night shift security officer. This seemed to be all I was qualified for after eight and a half years in the Army Reserves, a bachelor's degree in political science with a minor in Near Eastern Studies. Having exhausted all of our savings and on the verge of filing for unemployment, I had no choice but to take it until I could find something better. Working at night, I spent my days continuing to look for a sustainable and fulfilling job. Seven months later, I found that opportunity at Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America as working as a community manager, where I am now responsible for running the social networking site for fellow Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. After going through this frustrating experience, part of my goal working for IAVA is to find employment opportunities for other veterans and to encourage Congress not to let our heroes struggle when they come home. That is why I could not be happier to be standing up here today with my home state senator, Senator Murray, to witness the introduction of this powerful new legislation that promises to make a difference in the lives of returning servicemen and women. Thank you. Jason, thank you so much. And now I want to introduce Joe Tyron, Tryon. He's a veteran from nearby here in Arlington, Virginia, and a West Point graduate who will describe the challenges that he faced in finding work when he came home. Thank you, Senator Murray. Thank you, good morning. Thank you, Jason, for sharing your story. My name is Joe Tryon, and I'm an Iraq War veteran. I currently live in Arlington, Virginia. I urgently am from Boston, so if my accent slips in there and you have difficulty understanding, that's, that's what it is. I've currently been unemployed for 14 months. I began my military career as a young cadet at West Point, the United States Military Academy, and from there I became an officer in the Army. Where for a course of six years, I led and was responsible for hundreds of soldiers. I was on a great career path in developing invaluable leadership skills and other skills that I thought would translate to a productive and dynamic professional career. As a lieutenant in Iraq in 2003, I learned a great deal about myself, and I learned a great deal about becoming a leader. I learned how to turn quick thinking and detailed planning into action. But in 2003, I was injured. And eventually, I was separated from the military for medical reasons. Since being out of the military, I've struggled to find stable employment. For the last 14 months, I've been searching for a job, unable to get many interviews in the fields I'm interested in. My wife, who is also a combat veteran, is 100% disabled. She is unable to work. So, together, we're managing on disability income and our savings. At the most basic level, the job hunt is tough especially after being a leader in the military for so long. The, the broad set of skills I have I, and I thought would be easily transferable are not. And I thought that combat leadership would outweigh boardroom experience, which I'm also finding not to be the case. I found instead that 
employers want individuals with experience and certain skill sets that they've already developed, overlooking the fact that they have a new, fresh mind looking at taking on a new challenge and learning a new job. But I know that me and my veteran peers have far more to offer than what can be shown on a two-dimensional piece of paper resume. And I hope that civilian employers can also recognize that. But today I'm thrilled that Senator Murray's new jobs bill will provide job training, placement services for returning veterans. This is something I could have benefited from over the last year and a half, and it's something that I hope will make a big difference for today's returning service members. Thank you so much, Senator Murray, and thank you for being here today.